what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. Okay, the best and worst exercises for building a thick chest. I'm gonna give you two, and one is probably not what you are thinking. But my goal with this is to basically give you something that you can implement to focus on adding that girth to your chest. Not just strength. The goal isn't to build strength or get stronger. If that's what you wanna do, then this video is not about that and this specific video is not for you. This is about building a thick chest. So that being said, the absolute worst exercise that I don't like at all that's very popular, decline bench press. I hate the decline bench press. I've been in this industry for over 30 years. I remember reading the magazines. You gotta do a flat bench press, an incline bench press, a decline bench press, so you can hit the middle, the upper, the lower. Well, fortunately, that's not how it works. Okay, you're actually gonna emphasize all of your chest when you're doing this. I still want you to do angles, and I recommend angles as far as specific exercises. However, when it comes to the decline bench press and you being an older man, that is an exercise you need to scratch all together because it will wreak havoc on your shoulders. It's a horrible position for your shoulders. Not only the angle that you're lifting the weight, but being a bar, it is keeping you in a fixed position. Hard on your shoulders, hard on your elbows. So there's just too many bad things about this exercise and it's not gonna give you a big, thick chest. So I would recommend avoiding the decline bench press altogether. There's several varial, uh, uh, various other exercises you can do if you really wanna just place a little bit more emphasis on the lower uh, lower pecs. Good Lord, if I can get it out. All right, if you wanna go and focus on the lower pecs, I'm just gonna throw this in there. It's not one of the two best or two worst, but I usually recommend a cable uh, machine. If you've been in, if you've seen any of my programs, you've followed any of my programs, seen any of my other videos, you'll know I like the high to low cable press. It's a similar situation. However, you've got handles that you can maneuver and adjust your grip position, which is gonna help bring some external rotation into your shoulders, which is gonna help eliminate a lot of the stress. Also, you're not in a fixed position. You go from here to the center, the midline of your body, which is gonna give you that great contraction. And because you're still in a decline angle, decline goes from upper chest to lower. That's what you're doing. If you're laying in a decline, you're coming upper chest down to lower chest. That's what's placing the emphasis here. However, the decline barbell press is hard on the shoulders, whereas doing it on a cable, you can eliminate the range of motion, you can adjust the hand grip variation, which is gonna eliminate a lot of the stress. And then you're not just going from A to B, A to B, you're actually going from here to the midline, which is a natural movement for your chest. So a much better and bigger bang for your buck exercise. All right, I didn't really mean to go there, but I wanted to give you an alternative to the decline bench press. The next worst is just a standard flat barbell bench press. Flat barbell bench press, once again, the bar keeps you in a fixed position. So the fixed position meaning your overhand grip is gonna place a lot of stress on your shoulders and your elbows. As an older guy, you need to avoid those things. You need to avoid things that's putting you in, a, in an unnatural position, a fixed position. The other thing with the barbell bench press is people tend to go heavy. It's one of those ego lifts, you know? You gotta boost your ego, you gotta load the weight up, you gotta do as much as possible so these other men can watch you doing it. However, that's putting unnecessary strain on your shoulders, you're not placing a lot of emphasis on your actual chest because once again, being in that fixed position, you're point A to point B, point A to point B, which is why now we will get into the two best exercises, two that I recommend. Throw away the barbell and replace it with dumbbell. Bench press is still king of all exercises for upper body chest. However, just do the dumbbell version. Dumbbell allows you to work in a natural motion, okay? 
natural plane of movement, you're also working in a larger range of motion. So with the dumbbells, what I always recommend, the barbell keeps you fixed. With the dumbbells, rotate those dudes in, all right? You don't have to go full neutral, neutral meaning palms facing one another, but you wanna bring some slight rotation into that exercise, which is once again, gonna externally rotate the humerus, which is gonna help give you some more clearance in your shoulders. Also, when you're doing the dumbbells, you will notice you can go nice and deep by going wide. That's what you wanna do with the dumbbells. You don't wanna just keep these dumbbells close to your body and drive straight down, because again, that's gonna strain those shoulders. You actually wanna kinda of go out away from your body and get a nice good stretch in your pecs. That's where you should be really focusing that mind-muscle connection on, is stretching your pecs as much as possible. Once you're at that bottom stretched position, then instead of just going to point B, as in going straight back up, you actually want to go up and in at the same time, which is gonna help with that natural movement. Full range of motion, more natural movement, you're really gonna focus on, and when I say in, that means in line. So basically, I like to think in terms of my biceps, which sounds weird when you're working chest. However, wide at the bottom, as you come up, start getting those biceps closer together. So bring the dumbbells closer together, closer together, and then focus on driving those biceps together at the top. When you do that, it's gonna give you a massive peak contraction. So, you heard my bad ones, you heard one good one. I gave you an alternative lower pec one, but the next one that I really love is an upper chest exercise, and it's an incline fly into a squeeze press using dumbbells. Once again, you're using dumbbells. That's the, that's the common theme here. You're replacing the barbells with dumbbells, which is more natural for you, and as an older guy, it's a smarter way to train help prevent you from some of these injuries. Okay, you're getting a standard fly position. Once again, you are going to, when you're set up in a 45 degree angle in an incline position, you can even do a 30 degree. It doesn't have to be really steep, especially if you have shoulder injuries. Most fixed incline benches are at a 45 degree angle, which tends to be pretty steep. That's still gonna hit those shoulders a little bit. If you're really focusing on building upper thick, uh, upper chest thickness, then go ahead and take it down slightly to about a 30 degree if you have one of those adjustable benches. All right, 30 degree angle, still focus on that upper chest. So basically, you're gonna get the dumbbells out as wide as possible. Again, the mind to muscle connection is key. Anytime you're working your chest, you really need to focus on paying attention to your chest. You want to feel it more in your chest. You want your chest to be stretching on the way down and not your shoulders. You don't want to just stretch those shoulders. You want the chest to stretch as much as possible. Once you're at the fully stretched position, then you're going to slowly bring those dumbbells back up together. All right. Here's where it gets a little different. Once you get them back up, you're not going to go straight back into a stretch position. You're actually going to squeeze the dumbbells together. That's the squeeze press. So you're gonna squeeze them as hard as possible throughout this entire part of the movement. As you squeeze them, then you're gonna lower the dumbbells to your upper chest and press the weights back up while continuing to squeeze the dumbbells together. That's the squeeze press. Once you get back to the top, then you do it all over again. You go back into the incline fly, nice, good, wide stretch come all the way back together, nice hard press together, and then back down into an incline press, and then back up into an incline press. All right, that's basically two movements making one exercise, but I've done other videos on this one. This is one of my favorites for upper chest thickness. And unfortunately, upper chest thickness, man, is one of those things that a lot of men don't have. Here's the cool thing about an upper chest. You see it in tank tops. You see it in a lot of the V-neck shirts. So it stands out. So really place a lot more emphasis on your upper chest development if you want other people to notice your chest more. So I love working upper chest and this is one of my favorite exercises. 
and combine this with the dumbbell bench press and add that cable press high to low and that's gonna help develop the full chest and really get that thickness. Also, one last point I want to make. If your goal is thickness, that means your goal is hypertrophy, muscle growing, muscle growth, muscle building, okay? That's what all of that means. Not necessarily just getting stronger for the sake of getting stronger. So that being said, I like the eight to 10, even 12 if you have to, eight to 12 rep range, that is perfect for hypertrophy. Again, you're not gonna be turning heads in the gym. People aren't gonna be watching you lift massive weights. However, your goal shouldn't be to impress other men in the gym. It should be building your body, man, getting stronger, building nice shape to your body. So add the higher rep range when you're doing the chest thickness and you're gonna notice your chest starting to grow, especially if you eliminate all, a lot of that barbell work. Barbell work is great for strength and just overall natural development. However, if you really want to focus and hone in on building that thickness, then you need the greater range of motion. You need the higher rep range. All right. And then you need the natural movement patterns. So not just A to B, it's good stretch, good full and natural contraction all the way across the way the chest is designed to work. All right. I hope you like this video. I've got a little cold going on, so I apologize if you can't understand me or you didn't understand me. If that's the case and you need some clarification on anything, then man, comment below and please let me know. I'll go through those comments and try to clear anything up. Also, if you like this video, like I said, thumbs up, please share it with your buddies. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And man, other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.